Hello YouTubers, um, Anime Blondie here. I am going to show you today how to begin working on an avatar picture um, for IMVU using GIMP. Um, I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know how. I already know that there is a lot of um, tutorials about this, but I figured I'd show you the easiest way that I know how to do it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your IMVU client. Um, and go into your room. I'm already in my room and uh, you want to usually strike a pose or you can just stand there or you can use Pandora avatar which is this Nova's. Um, it's pretty cool but I'm not going to get into that today. So back to the task at hand. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put her into a pose like so. Um, and then usually what I want to do is I want to make the picture as big as possible. So um, I'm going to go down and close the chat window. Um, that's the first step. And then the second step, which I recently learned about, um, if you press F10 and F11 together, it gets rid of the rooms. So you have no more rooms up here. Um, also, one of the things that you usually want to do is get rid of the chat bubbles. I mean, unless you want them there, but I usually don't. So. All you have to do is press Control B B, and that gets rid of the bubbles up here. So now you have a green screen avatar with um, a pose. I'll put the link to my green screen. Well, it's not mine, but it's one that I own. Um, underneath the video, I'm sure there's cheaper ones, but this happens to be the one that I use because it doesn't have a shadow and it's a very vivid green, which most of my clothing don't involve vivid green. Okay, so. What you want to do to take a picture of your avatar is press print screen. Um, if you don't know where that is, you might want to check out a picture of the keyboard on Google. Um, I suppose I could probably link that as well. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to press print screen and that automatically takes a picture of your avatar. The next thing that I'm going to do is minimize this and open up your GIMP. I already have mine opened um, just because it usually takes a few seconds to load. <laughs> um, so here is my GIMP open and now all you have to do is press edit, paste as, new image. And there you have a picture. So you have all this crap around it. Um, usually you want to make sure that this says pasted layer. If you did it the way I showed you how to do it, it will say pasted layer automatically. With the pasted layer, if you cut out the background, it'll make it transparent so that you can put your avatar on any kind of background that you want it to be on. Um, so the first thing I usually do when doing this is I crop the picture, um, usually to just around the avatar. My cat seems to want to be helping. <laughs> um, and then you click on anywhere in the selected region. Like so. The next thing that you want to do, because you've got all this green in here, is you want to click on the color picker tool, which is in between fuzzy select and the scissor select. Um, as soon as you click on that, you can pick any color on here. Um, you definitely want to pick the green because if you pick black, it's going to get rid of her hair or the skin tone. But you want to pick the green. The green is selected, and then all you have to do is press Control X, and there you go. You have no more green background and an avatar to use, an avatar picture. Um, in order to get rid of the trail around it, all you have to do is press Edit, oh, sorry, Select, and then None. And there you go. You can do anything you want with the background, fill it in with black, you can load a picture, so on and so forth. Anyways, um, if you have any questions about this tutorial, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, I'll try to answer it to the best of my knowledge. I am still a little new with GIMP, but I figured out a few things, such as cutting out the background. Um, that's it for the tutorial, and thanks for watching.